The camera is the crown jewel of any modern flagship smartphone. The OnePlus 5 and the Galaxy S8 are some of the most popular Android devices out there, so we wanted to see how their cameras stack up against that of the iPhone 7 Pluses. I'm Angie for GSM Marina, and this is our flagship camera phone shootout. Round 1. Daylight Photos We start off with daylight photos, because that's where the phone cameras are at their best. All three phones fare pretty well in bright sunlight. The OnePlus 5 captures the most detail, especially with patterns and foliage, but the difference between the three isn't that staggering. Both the OnePlus and the S8 capture bright colors, while the iPhone seems a little bland in comparison. In its defense, though, this laid-back approach provides a higher dynamic range. Now, this is a tricky scene. The brighter and more saturated colors of the OnePlus 5 and the Galaxy S8 have led to some loss of detail in the flower petals. In contrast, the iPhone has managed to preserve them from clipping, but at the cost of darker overall exposure. The final daylight shot reconfirms our findings so far. The iPhone has the best preserved shadows in this shot. Round 2. Low light. Phone cameras are especially challenged with low light photos. They come out noisier, softer, and less detailed. The OnePlus photo is much softer than the other two, and there is less information in the shadows. Conversely, the edges of the building are the best to find on the S8, and it has a lot more detail captured in the shadows. While the iPhone also has a good dynamic range, it's fuzzier than the Galaxy S8. In the second photo, the S8 blows the other two out of the water. Its overall exposure is brighter, and yet it has lower noise and sharper detail. Unfortunately, the OnePlus 5's photo is way too soft and way too noisy. It's smudgy and the colors look bad. Finally, the iPhone stays solidly in the in-between. While its photos are not as sharp as the S8, it's much better than the OnePlus 5. Round 3. HDR Processing HDR can save your shot even when your camera doesn't have the best dynamic range. To start with, the OnePlus 5 does a decent job, but it's perhaps the least intense of the three, and it doesn't preserve as much of the sky's blue as we would like. It certainly is no match for the Galaxy S8. The S8's HDR photo reveals a lot more detail in the shadows, and a more natural sky than its original. The iPhone is laid back in its HDR processing too. It insists on using a darker exposure for all HDR shots, perhaps to prevent highlights from clipping, but this approach hardly helps with detail in the shadows. With HDR on, the Galaxy really shines with its sharp detail and balanced exposure. Neither the iPhone nor the OnePlus 5 can measure up. Round 4. Telephoto Lens Although all the phones have a way to go to match the prowess of a DSLR, phone manufacturers have begun to include a second telephoto lens to provide some optical zoom, even if fixed. The S8 lacks a telephoto lens, so we're not including it in this round. In this photo, the difference between the two is pretty stark. The OnePlus 5 shot is much noisier and much more saturated than the iPhones, making the latter look much clearer when you look up close. But having a secondary telephoto lens also allows for nice portrait shots. With its 56mm lens, the iPhone produces closer shots and the background is naturally softer than that of the OnePlus 5, since the OnePlus 5 has a 36mm lens. Both phones have a dedicated portrait mode, which creates some artificial bokeh to better separate the subject from the background. With portrait mode turned on, the iPhone does a much better job of mimicking the effect of a DSLR. The OnePlus, on the other hand, has more of the background in focus and seems to oversharpen everything in the foreground. Winner? Definitely the iPhone. Round 5. Selfie time. Somehow, here I look like I'm every color of the rainbow. The OnePlus seems to have a serious leg up, which isn't too surprising considering it has the highest resolution in its front camera. It preserves the most detail in my hair and avoids the orange glow the S8 gives me. While the selfies by both the Galaxy and the OnePlus 5 have much sharper focus than the iPhones, the iPhone doesn't skew my features or enlarge my eyes. I guess that's a benefit or a negative depending on how you look at it. When shooting videos with the selfie camera, I almost seem to glide with the OnePlus. It's so stabilized, it looks a little unnatural. In the meantime, the iPhone is much more what you'd usually expect. Unlike when taking photos, the S8 has more realistic colors and a ton of detail, but its stabilization is a bit overdone and it gives straight lines a wavy effect. Round 6. 4K Video Daylight Videographers, take note, these next three rounds are for you. Here, the OnePlus 5 has much more natural colors than the S8, and, surprisingly, slightly better details than the iPhone 7 Plus. 
Remember, however, we're currently shooting on a tripod. Right next door, the S8 has dialed up the sharpening and contrast way too much. And the iPhone, yet again, gives us the most balanced footage in terms of colors and contrast with more room for editing than the rest. Round 7, 4K video, low light. When shooting in low light on a tripod, the OnePlus presents pretty good footage. But once again, the Galaxy S8 is the low light champion. Everything is clear and detailed, even when things are moving. The iPhone has a higher amount of noise, but its quality isn't too different from that of the OnePlus 5. Handheld, things change for the worse. Since the camera lacks OIS, much of the perceived detail is lost to small hand movements. At the same time, the s 8 video looks vibrant and balances its exposure quite well. Details are sharp, and they aren't overprocessed, so you can see every little wave quite clearly. The rich red of the building also comes through more accurately, whereas it looks washed out on the OnePlus 5 and dimmer on the iPhone 7. For a final bonus round, we try to see how fast the autofocus is on these cameras. The OnePlus 5 gains some lead on the iPhone 7 Plus in good light. That's only in video, however, because Apple has the autofocus tuned slower in this mode to get smoother footage. In any case, the Galaxy S8 blows them both away, thanks to its dual pixel technology. And don't worry, my buddy Will got his drink in the end. We can see the same distribution in low light, and again the iPhone is much slower in video recording than it is in photos. The Galaxy S8 is slower than usual, but it's still the undisputed champion in refocusing speed. So, here we are at the end of this camera comparison. We had a close eye on the OnePlus 5, and it seems to hold its own in daylight photos and selfies. But when the light got low, things weren't so great. The Galaxy S8 seems to have the best overall camera of the three, and it's definitely the low light champion. However, if you like to touch up your photos manually, the iPhone's laid back processing is probably your best bet. A camera can make or break a flagship phone, but a good camera alone is not enough. So make sure you check out our full reviews over at gsmarina.com before you make up your mind. See you next time.